Okay, today I'm going to install my uh, reflector, LED reflectors into the bumper and replace my tail lights with LED tail lights. As you can see, I've taken out the tail lights. There's just two screws right here. You just loosen them off. So it might be a little hard to get out because of this clip, but you might want to whack it a bit in this direction with your hand and it should pop right off. One of my sides was much easier than the other. As you can see, there's a wiring harness there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this top plate. There's a screw here, screw here. You got to take this handle off here. There's two screws holding that on. You just got to pop off these covers. Next thing you know, I'll take screw, screw, screw out of here, and a screw out of here. Okay? I found out that it's best to take this little cover off underneath the LED top rig light and get these screws out first before you pop the system off. I'm holding this up with my head right now. Next thing you want to do, I'm replacing the left and right tailgate light assemblies. There's four bolts that hold them on. It takes a number 10 ratchet, recommended number 10 by a quarter inch. And these just come off. Okay, as you can see, all the lights are removed. Big empty cavity here. This time it's a good idea to use uh, Windex and a microfiber cloth to clean out the wells of the lights. Because you probably may never take these off again. I get mine sprayed every year by Crown and there's a little bit of uh, spray still in the nooks and crannies where it's supposed to be. Okay, this is how I put the seal on the middle tail light. As you can see, there's dimples where I put on the inside of this piece, but on this side there's little holes for these little, I guess, guides for the light. I would leave the plastic on for now until you're done, but just roll it off the edges so that it doesn't interfere with the install. Okay, so after I installed these center taillight assemblies, I've tie wrapped the cable. There's a left and a right. They're both marked. This is the left side. The yellow tie wrap goes around the cable. You see there's a red one there and I'm trying to fish it through this rubber tube here. You just have to knead it um, I'm almost all the way through. I just wanted to show you guys a step here. So this does pop out. This one pops out. I'm thinking of maybe punching a hole in the rubber to run the other tube because this is the rear washer line here and I don't want to crimp that or prevent that from working. As you can see here on the right side the red tie wraps are holding the wire against the other one. Make sure there's enough clearance for the snap holes, the snaps uh, fasteners when you put them back in. You can see I just tie wrapped it here. You can always get at this later with the covers but this is so far what I've done. Okay, just to recap here, make sure that when you go through, you go through on the inside, down through here, and if you want to look under here, you can run the wire down here through a double hole in the frames. Make sure you put some kind of tape on the fabric, just prevent the black sticky stuff from making a mess of the fabric. A little hook here for that holds this inner cover piece up. Just snap it back and that gives you more room underneath it. So as you can see, running this left side, it's not a problem because you run everything through this tube. However, on this side, I had to cut a little slot, a little X, a little hole with the number 11 X-Acto blade so I can actually run the wires down through there. I actually cut the connector off of this one so it's easier to feed through and I will solder this back on later. To me this is an easier route. Okay, just re reassembling in the reverse order here. I got these side pieces here I'm going to put on first and probably this center piece followed by the main piece afterwards. I ran the wire this way. I'm not too comfortable about this, but I think it'll probably work for now. And the right side here, it's a bit of a
the base of the wire has got to go over the frame piece. We'll see how it works. Okay, now we're trying to install the uh, lower reflector LEDs. I just removed three screws from the inner farewell. There's some more screws underneath here. I think this is a bracket I need to remove here. Well, we'll see in a minute. Bye. Bye.